Hey, my name is IUK and in this video I put a compound around the whole launch site monument on a vanilla server completely on my own while the rest of the server tries to stop me. But first up, let's go over the game plan, because this is no small task. One wall cost 1500 wood, and I would need hundreds of walls to do this. These walls would also have to be upkept by its own TC, which would cost even more boxes of wood and stone. Now I've actually done something similar to this before when I walled off an entire island for myself in this video. In this video I used the outpost to trade in stone for the wood I needed. A rather ineffective way of doing it actually. The most effective way I've found to get wood is using a pure wood tea and a chainsaw. Using this method you will get between 8 and 10 boxes of wood every 30 minutes. But for these wood teas I would need to make my own berry farm, something I've never done before. And so I had a lot of work in front of me. I also figured the rest of the server wouldn't be too thrilled with what I was about to do, and so I would need to make my main base as secure as possible to deter offline raiders. And so I had a few things to do. Let's get started. Yeah, let's go. This video took a long time to make, and so if you could do me a favor and subscribe, that would mean a lot. Okay, let's get down a base. I'm gonna put down a base on this side of launch site, like around here. To get up the main base as quickly as possible, I decided to use a furnace base as my starter base. But for this, I would need a level 2 workbench first. And so I just farmed a few sulfur nodes and I bought one at the shop nearby. The plan was to just keep this furnace running, it would give me a lot of metal frags quickly. I had a lot of farming in front of me and so to make this easier I bought a jackhammer at the outpost. And then I spent the next few hours just farming. As I was out roaming around my area, I found a decayed base. Oh my god. It's so nice. I repaired the MP5 at base and then I ran back to see if this decayed base had anything else to give. It was clear that someone had gotten to it before me, but there were still a few bits and bobs left. This guy was clearly the one who got most of the loot from the DK base. Oh. But from this I got enough guns to start this wipe. I built a garage for the minicopter. I put down the farm base on the river next to where I built. I started hearing shots by a decayed compound close by and I headed over to check it out. Just... 
many bags do you have? What the fuck? We need to get home with this. Now someone's taking Bradley. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shit's popping up now. Someone started taking Bradley. And so it was time to show this server that this was my monument. M2 what the I need to build my main base really soon we can no longer live in a stone furnace base that's just not gonna cut it what the fuck yeah let's go I continued hearing shots over by that decayed compound from earlier. I was quickly starting to fill up my two bases with loot, and I was now a bit too loaded to keep it all in these unprotected bases, and so I started building on the main base. Shell of the base is looking good. I headed over to the decayed compound with some ladders to see if I could get my hands on any more loot. Fuck. <laughs>
all the locker rooms of this space were exposed, but I would need more ladders if I wanted to access it. Need more ladders. This loot boosted my wipe into endgame after just a few hours on the server. Let's go! All oh, the M2 and T full kits. I wanna spread out the loot too, so. If someone comes and raids this, I'm not gonna be back on zero. That's why I left some loot in the other base. I headed back with more ladders to get the rest of the lockers. This is so nice. Nice. There we go. We got so many kids from that. Yeah, we need to continue working on the bases. People continued taking Bradley as the day went on. I don't care about any guns. I'll go back. I'll come back for that.
Put inventory, we go back. Go back to base, depot and come back. Let's go. Jesus Christ, we're getting a lot of loot. Oh my god. Why is everyone so loaded? Bro, I've gotten like a box of components just from this fight. And like two rows of guns. How many were at that Bradley fight? I just cleaned up the two that were left. I started to realize just how many people live there on Launchite, and even though I've been lucky to get out on top in all of these earlier fights, I knew it was just a matter of time before the first obstacle showed up. Bro. Oh man! I have my own Discord server where you can find a playlist with some of the songs I use in my videos. Here you can also find the base I used in this video, and you can find people or groups to play Rust with. Or if you just have any questions, I'm very active over there too. I finished building on the main base and day one on the server was starting to come to a close. When the worst thing that could happen, happened. A group on the server figured out who I was. And in front of me I had probably the worst 3 days of my entire Rust career. And probably the most broken I've ever gotten in Rust. Oh I'm getting raided. Yep. Fuck. I still had all my loot spread out, and so a good chunk of it was still in my furnace base. Fuck man, that base is kinda stacked. Luckily I still have a lot of stuff in the other bases. I didn't have many guns in there, which is... Which is nice. Like all I really had was the sulfur. Yeah, basically a sulfur and I... Honestly, I don't mind. I can lose the sulfur. I don't care. Yo, why you came? Thanks for free rolls of sulfur, man. Thanks for the sulfur, I'd appreciate it, you know? Free rolls of sulfur in your fairness space, very nice, bro. They had completely griefed the furnace base. And after this loss, I logged off. And I guess raiding and griefing my furnace base just wasn't enough, because as I was offline, they also raided and griefed my main base too. Great. Fantastic. I mean, I still have this. Guess that's something.
Wow. Luckily, the furnace base had started to decay, and so with a bit of picking, I could take that back. Oh, I left so much open. Fuck. Bet I didn't leave this open. Yes. Come on. Let's go. They had just gone for the grief on the furnace space, and so one of the loot rooms were completely untouched. And coincidentally, it was the most loaded one out of the two. I'd lost my workbenches, but using some sulfur, I bought a new one at Bandit Camp using the drones. We have so much left in here. I'm so happy they didn't get this room. This is the best loot. The best loot was in here. They never got it. All they got was the sulfur, and I couldn't care less about the sulfur. I'll just farm more if I need to. Okay. There we go. Oh, I really grieved it a lot. <laughs> oh. oh wait, they actually didn't. They didn't get. <laughs> Bro, they got like no loot at all. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I mean, they just went for the grief. Like that's it. On both bases, they didn't want the loot, they just wanted to greet me. Which is... Uh, <sighs> I think I'm gonna quit the server, because they griefed me with a stone TC and a few stone floors, and I hiked on a wooden wall on my furnace base. No. No, 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 no. It was clear that these raids were less about loot and more just about griefing me. And so yeah, after about an hour back on the server, I'd now taken back both of the bases this group had taken from me. Okay, base is now back. The griefing is gone. TC's around the main base, so it wasn't as easily griefed next time. I also raided and took over a base that was just too close to my base. Back to walling off lawn shite, I'd now come a long way with the berry farm, and I was quickly filling up my boxes with all the berries I would need. Like three minutes over an inventory of wood. Like, it's so OP. I mean, we are going to need like a box of high external walls, but should be able to do that in no time. I put down a compound around the base. Okay. Now I feel a bit more secure. And I don't think I'm gonna get fucked as soon as I start fucking with someone. Now feeling a bit more secure, I moved all the good loot from my furnace base over to my main base. And then it was time to catch up on all the time I had lost. Oh, nice. That's great, David.
We needed this tier 3. I noticed a group living out of a small stone base, and so I decided to raid them. I waited for things to cool down and then I started to transfer the loot from this raid. The loot from this raid helped me a lot and I was going to start working on the wall. That was at least the plan, but the group that reefed me wasn't done just yet. Bro, oh, fuck off! Oh, they really don't want me to actually place that bike wall TC outside. Like, what have I done? I haven't done anything to them. Like, I haven't done anything. You got me worried now. I'm moving these. Moving all my T's and I'm taking one of each of the clones. Because I am not losing that progress. I'm I I'm gonna need to go around my base and just take out every single uh, sleeping bag. They have way too many sleeping bags around my base. Like I don't understand why they they're literally putting all their focus into me. They literally just used four C4s just to grief me. Like come on, man. Fuck do these guys want? Oh. Are they really raiding my TC? They're honestly raiding my TC, I think. These guys are fucking losers. Bring that base, really? There's nothing in there, dumbass. Bro, they really want to raid every single one of my bases and grief them. Like, just to grief them, not even for the loot, just, just to grief them.
Uh, of course, I get so shot from behind. Holy fuck. I hate them. I am doing a sweep of my area and getting rid of every single bag that isn't mine. Nothing much happened after this, I continued building on the base, placed down turrets and secured it as much as I could, and then I logged off. And for the second night in a row, this same group came over and offline raided me, and this time griefing me even worse. Now at this point the best idea would have probably been to just pack it up and switch server. Or at least build a new base. But I decided I wanted to raid back this base since they were so hell bent on taking it from me. But it was really easier said than done. Why the fuck is that so expensive? <gasps> One shop front is 3 C4s or 6 rockets. And well, let's do some counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shop fronts is what I had to get rid of if I wanted this base back. And I didn't even have a level 3 workbench anymore. Well, let's put five hours of work into this two minute montage. And it costs so much to get rid of all the... All of these. Let's go! Finally an insane heli. So good. Okay, it's completely fixed. Our base is no longer griefed. Now we can start playing the game again. And so, after 5 hours after I had logged in completely raided and griefed, I had gotten my base back. But I hadn't gotten much sleep that night and so I went to close my eyes for a few hours. And I guess the people who raided me weren't too happy seeing my base completely fine just hours after they had done such a bang out job griefing it. And so, as I was taking my nap, they raided and griefed my farm base.
Luckily they had just gone for the grief again and so all the loot inside was untouched. Also because of the size of the farm base and how building privilege in Rust works, I could just move the TC to the other side and it was mine again. But this wasn't working. This little dance between me and this group just had to end if I ever was to wall off Launchlight. And so when one of them came over to my base to ask for an online raid, I decided to talk to them. Yeah, maybe, but like, it has been fucking annoying. But like, you, you, do you really think you deserve an online raid? Definitely not, no. After a bit of talking, we finally made peace. Apparently this guy Dumax was the one so hellbent on griefing me. It was Dumax's idea. But now he had left the server, and so the guy I was talking to promised to not grief me again, and as a sign of good faith, he also let me into their base and let me get my revenge on Dumax. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And so finally, I could get back to what I wanted to do this wipe. And I wasted no time. Okay, we have enough wood now, I think. At least for now. But this is what one wood tea makes. <laughs> At this point, Launchite was crawling with bigger groups and grubs. Bro, they're playing, playing like pussies. Fuck, man, of course if... All these people in Launchite made running it so much harder. Luckily, that wouldn't be a problem for much longer, as I could finally start working on the wall. But technically you can't actually completely wall off Launchite because of roads, since you can't actually build on roads. Luckily, it's pretty easy to work around that. And all I did was place these turret pods at all the roads, making it impossible for anyone to get in but me. It was a long way around launch site, and so I started small, just trying to get from the road by my base to this other road. I first set up the turret pods on these two roads. And with that finished, I could start connecting the two roads. Oh yeah, then there was also the bases by Launchite. Because I had to raid any bases that would interfere with my wall. Luckily, most Launchite bases are pretty loaded.
Okay, so I have TCs now going all the way from my base to here. I have TCs now. And I'm going to start working on this side too. So, like, the whole of this side is, is mine. And no one can do anything. Because I want to get the walls down for all of this also uh, tonight, hopefully. I wasn't making too much sense at this point. As you can tell, I hadn't gotten much sleep at this point. But I finished the wall all the way to the first road and I also started working on the wall on the other side of my base. But even though I spent most of my day just farming and building on the wall, I also got into a fair bit of PvP. But I mostly just spent the day farming and building on the wall. Many hours later and basically half of launch site was walled in. But even though a lot of launch sites were now walled off, it didn't make launch site any less active.
Fuck off! Fuck's sake, man. But people were starting to notice my wall, and some groups even started camping my base. Nothing really that interesting happened the next day and I just spent that day working on the wall. And I actually made a lot of progress. And because I got so much done that day I decided to treat myself and I spent the most of the next day just PvP. Did I check both? Oh, the guy's 11 HP, fuck. They didn't get any rockets, that guy must have ran with it. Okay. People were starting to notice that they were getting cut off from launch height and they clearly didn't like that because one group used four rockets to destroy one of the turrets. And yeah, this happened a lot where people would break turrets or walls and the thing is it's so hard for anyone to break turrets or walls but it was so easy to fix it really didn't bother me. Fuck me, people don't like those turrets. <laughs> I mean, I have, I, I have enough. I just keep replacing them. I don't care. Like it's one camera and a computer, and some high call. And you have a turret. Like I'll, I'll keep replacing them till the end of wipe. Don't you worry. I found a DK base, which helped me get stone for TCs. I continued farming wood, crafting that into walls, and placing them down. Trust me, this was as boring to do as it sounds, but I now only had two spots left to fill in and Launchite would be mine. But even though there weren't a lot of places to get into Launchite, people still made their way inside.
That probably was terrible. Holy fuck, that was bad. It was time to finish this wall. Yeah, <laughs> a bit scuffed, but there we go. Finally, it's done. Oh. Okay, it's done. The wall is complete. It's probably the worst thing I've ever done in Rust, but it, now it's done. <laughs> Look at this. All around launch height. I get yeah. okay. We're fine. We're fine. It's fine. Like, bro, look at this. <laughs> My wall. Get the shit. <laughs> uh, bro, this is uh, like... I can't believe I actually did this. Like, it's, it's actually nuts. And just like that, it was finished. All it took was 8 days and basically no sleep. And so, with the wall now finished, I could start playing Rust normally. Or I mean, as normal as you can with a launch site in your compound. What a fucking hell is Nice. Last crate saved it. It would have been such a bad heli crate otherwise. Our clan next to me started getting offline raided. I'll take these kids. Easy.
No way he can get up. I was shaking the roof. I didn't think he could get up. You're not dead. Oh, he did. Of course, he goes down. Okay, we got something. Need that. Okay, I say at the end it was still a proper profitable run. After the raid was finished, I never saw them transfer any of the loot from the raid base. I suspected they had just quit right after the raid. And so I headed over to raid it. As I was standing AFK in base, I noticed that Heli killed me, and then a group took it down right outside my base. <laughs> they came to raid me. Wow. No way, man. Is there a scrap, Ellie? Oh, they came big. I'm not even sure who these guys are. I was slaying in my bed and then I saw I died to Heli. <laughs> and that's what baited, baited them out. Terrible Heli. Now I wish I'd let them start raiding. It would've been so much more fun. I didn't know it was a raid, I thought they just like we're roaming and they took heli outside my base. Yeah, I'm not too sure if I can call this a raid defense or not. I mean, they never even shot one rocket. Because for some reason they thought it would be a good idea to take down heli with two rows of rockets on them. But anyways, I now had a bunch of rockets of my own, and so to end off the wipe I wanted to do a raid. And so when a group dropped a M10 on top in the chat, I knew just who to raid. I first headed over to check out their base. 
It shouldn't be too hard. Send in a few MLRS rockets. We just go for it. I set up a base next to the military base for the MLRS rockets. Then the raid base outside of their base. But before I could transfer the rockets, they raided it. Okay, I guess. I guess you don't want to know my raid then. And so I decided to say fuck the raid base and just sent it. Here we go again! <laughs> <laughs> uh, bro, Evelyn Rockets are stupid. You can't you literally can't do anything about it. Like they just they just sit there and watch as I destroy their base without lifting a finger. Go again! Okay, one life and we just fucking send it to the room. your rocket pvp it was a solo one life on lum raid it takes a lot to win one of those but i guess i did enough damage to their base because when i logged in the next day their base was started to decay um, um, i wonder if they rebuild oh no <laughs> and just like that this crazy wipe comes to an end of the spending days working on this project. I'm so happy with how everything here turned out. If you enjoyed this video please make sure that you subscribe. I also have a twitter and so make sure that you follow me over there. You can also join my discord server for channel updates or if you just want to chat with me. But I will see you guys in the next video. Peace and goodbye.